All right, man, peace. So uh, supposedly Serena Williams is uh, approximately 20 weeks pregnant. You know, it's so amazing to me, man, how they choose to report certain stories based on the, uh, the demographics of the subject of the story. So let's see how they break this down. We're going to go to a few different newscasts and see how they break down this story. She she won a Grand Slam title while carrying a uh, <laughs> a barely developed zygote in her womb. All right, a child. I don't I don't even know if the so called medical profession classifies the fetus as a as a child until a, until a, what is it maybe five or six months. We know that most of these females that get abortions they don't classify the fetus as a child even up to nine months. Team Sports Evan here with Michael J. Babcock. What's up? All right, we're, look, we're making an assumption here, but it's a pretty well-educated assumption. Earlier today, yeah. Serena Williams went to Snapchat and she posted this photo, kind of showing off her stomach with the caption, 20 weeks. Okay. Now, look, there's no other way to interpret that other than her saying she's 20 weeks pregnant, right? Right. It was Serena Williams is one of the fittest women on earth. She seems to be developing a little stomach there. That, along with the 20 weeks, would lead you to believe that she is, in uh, fact, there's pregnant. There's just, I mean, look, there's no other no. way. There's nothing else. It's crazy. So look, uh, so she's 20 weeks pregnant. First off, congratulations. She's engaged to Alexis Ohanian. You know what's so amazing? A lot of times you, you'll see a lot of these uh, so-called pro-blacks, uh, a lot of these so-called liberal blacks, many of these so-called pro-black females. They'll talk about how uh, famous black males, they, uh, they seek out women of other races when, whenever they get money. And they try to turn it into a an economic conversation. They'll say, oh, well, you know, they're taking money out of the black community. I wonder, is Serena Williams taking money out of the so-called black community? Now that she's with these Caucasian men. Yeah. It's just something to wonder. I mean, how much how much money does she generate uh, in her, what, 15 or 16 years of professional tennis? Probably somewhere around 200 million. Is she taking that money out of the so-called black community? Things that make you go, hmm. Yeah, co-founder of Reddit, engaged back in December. Well, congratulations to both of them. But the most wow. interesting part, I think, is that if you start going back and looking back over the past 20 weeks. Yep. It's brought wearing a trench coat on the beach. Yep. She won the Australian Open on January 28th. That would mean that she was already pregnant when she won her 23rd singles Grand Slam title. Serena Williams is that good that she won one of the biggest tennis tournaments in the world with a little baby in her belly. Yeah, that child, that uh, that eight week old, <laughs> that eight week old fetus, that really uh, that really provided a lot of difficulty for her in winning the, the championship. It's incredible. It's so look, congratulations to Serena. Congratulations to Lex. But really, congratulations to every other tennis player in the women's division. <laughs> you know, that's a player. Yeah, no kidding. You know, it's, it's, it's just so silly the extent that they, that they go to to overly glorify uh, certain figures. I mean, don't get me wrong. She's uh, she's a phenomenal tennis player. Uh, she's succeeded quite a bit. She has a lot of great achievements. But really, is that a story that she won a, that she won a Grand Slam title with a, with a fetus that was about six weeks in her womb? All right. So now let's see how Jalen and Jacoby uh, cover the Serena Williams pregnancy story. You're going to see the same tone, and I'm going to address this tone later on in this video. And then we have this. Serena Williams has just announced that she is pregnant. Oh, wait, wait. No, she didn't. She deleted it. What she did do is put up a picture of her profile with her sort of stomach accentuated with the caption, 20 weeks. Do you think it's an odd way to announce your pregnancy? I think it's a unique way. Um, she's accomplished so much as a tennis player, as a humanitarian, as a role model, as a success story. There's no true way other than, I guess, you, apple pie, white no, picket fence. You can't compete with Beyonce. I think that's what she did. She saw what Beyonce did with the, with the, you know, the rainbows and the veil. She saw all the Beyonce and said, you know what? She's all the way up here with her production value. I'm going to go all the way down here. There is, I do, as a, as a very serious journalist, I do have one thing I want to caution people with. 
anyone that has had a very hearty meal that has then looked down at their stomach and been like, oh man, 10 weeks pregnant, everyone has made that joke. And there's a little piece of me, like 10% of me thinks that Serena might have been making that same joke and just messing with all of us. Do you buy I'm that not theory? sure. We have to wait and see. Let's imagine that she is pregnant. Congratulations to her. Wish her the best and a healthy, happy baby. For those of you who don't know, uh, this man here, David Jacoby, he's also married to a so-called black female. Baby. And then let's go down the hypothetical that she passes this human being. She creates a life with her body and then goes... Now, did you hear what he just said? He said that, uh, that Serena Williams, being a woman, that she creates a life with her body. Uh, that's going into the, uh, the mother goddess worship. That is very, very pervasive in this society. And this is the reason why I wanted to make this video, because I saw the same tone. It wasn't a congratulatory tone in these videos that I'm going in these clips that I'm going to use to make this video. It was a tone of deification. They have put Serena Williams up as in a mother goddess role. OK, the woman does not create does not create a child. The woman just dates the fetus for nine months. Right? That is her biological role in the creation of, of, of another human child. Right? Very, very sad. And this is a guy who I believe has a son. Like, what do you teach your sons in regards to procreation? Do you teach them that, you know, basically, son, you just uh, put your thing in the woman and she does and she creates the life? Or, I mean, like, <laughs> you know, and I blame a lot of you so-called black men because a lot of you go along with the black woman as God philosophy. Not all of you, but a lot of you do. Right. A lot of you go into this goddess and, and all this nonsense and you uh, you tear yourself down to build the, to build up the woman. You're supposed to build each other up together uh, in a spirit of propriety. OK, the man does not create a child. The woman does not create a child. The man and woman coming together create a child. All right. That's what's called the so-called family unit. When you start when you start accepting philosophies like the woman creates the child, what you're basically saying is that as a man that you're obsolete. And then you wonder why when you go through the court system, they view you as being obsolete in many interactions with the woman. You've already given away all of your rights as a man. Goes on to win another major. Is she then the greatest athlete of all time unequivocally? Absolutely not. Serena Williams, uh, she could possibly be the greatest female athlete. That's assuming that she's always been a female. I love that description on a Women Crush Wednesday and how you pay homage and salute to how that process is something that you and I both know that we would not be able to endure for any months, especially nine months, carrying another individual inside of us and giving a healthy birth. That has nothing to do with the, with the question, nor does that have anything to do with the overall biological process of bringing forth children. Yes, the female carries the, the fetus for nine months. Yes, that is what they do. You as a man, you also have to exemplify the importance of your role in the overall dynamic. Right? When you constantly try to forsake that role, what that tells me is that you really have no intention on playing a role in the family. So you, you're trying to give all the credit to the woman so that she could take all the responsibility. So with that being said, if she was to not play again she's already accomplished exactly what you said so i don't think her now having a baby and competing validates that that's fair i know you have larry bird in your phone too but yeah i mean it's very very sad how a lot of these guys they just uh a lot of these dudes right now are just simps and that message is proactively pushed forth on on liberal television particularly on networks like espn They've taken a lot of female athletes, particularly uh, Serena Williams, and they put her in the role of the mother goddess because the mother goddess was a so-called black female, Isis or uh, Ishtar or Venus or whatever you want to call her. Even the even the Caucasian, the ancient Caucasian peoples like the Macedonians and the Romans under the uh, Julio-Claudian Caesars, even they worshiped the so-called uh, uh, black pagan gods. All right. Diana was a so-called black woman depicted as a so-called black woman. Okay. Or who's known today as so-called Wonder Woman. 
the goddess Diana. All right. All right. So now we're going to move on to um, to these two idiots, uh, Jamel Hill and Michael Smith, uh, the, the simp and the the angry, lonely, 45 year old black female uh, digmatized with her personal trainer, allegedly. So now let's go on and let's see how they cover this Serena Williams story. Let's talk about the undisputed GOAT in women's tennis. She's pregnant. What? She's pregnant. It's official? It's real. <sighs> Serena, am I coming to the baby shower? Or no? Oh, it's real. Is that too late? Did I? I just got the, I just got just the got green the light. Why, you, just why you were talking? That's why I was just waiting You're for You like, shut up. I, I was just. You're I, right. Throw out the rest of the show. Serena's pregnant. <laughs> I was. Yeah, I guess you could live through her because Lord knows that womb. Your womb got more cobwebs than a haunted house. I was, I, they, they got wow. my ear. So look, this is, we, we, all day long she snapped it, the 20, she deleted the snap. Right. For those that haven't been following on the internet today, she deleted the snap that said 20 weeks. And we all kind of fell back because we right. didn't know what, what it meant. We, we assumed what it meant. A lot of people, the internet was going nuts, uh, as they say. And turns out, yeah, it's, it's, it's real. She's pregnant. Recently engaged, expecting. So I, I just did I just, I just delivered breaking news kind of. And about a baby, no doubt. Can I be happy and sad at the same time? Uh, oh, sure. sure. Okay. I'm I'm definitely happy because obviously, um, yeah. You know, she's pregnant. She's moving on to this wonderful phase in her personal life, getting married, having a baby. Selfishly. Once again, I wonder if I if I was to ask Jamel Hill. Is Serena Williams taking money out of the black community, so-called black community? That's that's what you see so much with many uh, so-called pro-black black women. When they, one of the points that they try to make about affluent black men marrying or procreating with non-black women is that they're taking money out of the black community, quote unquote. I wonder if Serena Williams is doing that. But selfishly, and she's thirty-five. Yeah. Um, yeah. She has nothing to prove. With I wonder, does Serena Williams? Uh, does she hate does she have self hate because that's another thing that you hear oftentimes when uh when so called black men are with non black females uh the so called black female will say that uh the black man is suffering from self hate because he's with a non black female so now Serena Williams is not does not come from a a home without a father not only was her father there the father was the one who put the racket in her hand and has her in the position that she's in right now. But funnily enough, interesting, interestingly enough, you never hear him mentioned. Isn't that something? You know, when a so-called black woman signs her child up to play youth football and he goes on to become a professional football player, we get all these heartwarming stories about if it wasn't for her, he wouldn't be where he is. Right. The so-called black man, Richard Williams, put the racket in her hand, taught her how to play tennis, gave her the strength mentally and physically that he or she or whatever, whatever Serena Williams is to get to the pinnacle of her sport. But we never hear about him. And now she's marrying a, um, a six foot five Caucasian man. And I don't hear anybody saying that she's lynched, that she suffers from self-hate, that she's taking money out of the black community. Right. I, I don't. I'm, that's interesting. Um, I consider, even though she, I, 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 resume set. Resume set. I think she's one shot steal a murder course. Doesn't record. matter. Doesn't matter. She's to a me. goat. She's a goat, even though she's one. She's one uh, win shy of somebody else. No, I don't think so. With that six vibration right over your left shoulder, a lot of these so-called idiotic anchors, they don't, they don't understand what the entertainment industry is about. The entertainment industry is purely about Luciferianism. They just so happy to be on TV. She's the goat. When you see that number six, that six represents going down the rabbit hole. Oh, right? Nothing, nothing enough to do, nothing enough to prove. But look, you're, if you're 35, you have a baby, you've accomplished everything, what kind of incentive or motivation, will the same motivation be there for her to come back? She to prove to people back. that she could. You're right. And what Serena who... Williams wants to do, <laughs> Serena Williams will do. Right. Yes, because she's the mother goddess, right? Right. I wouldn't put it past Serena to win the first set, nurse, change a diaper, and then come back and win the second set. Well, More of that superwoman propaganda. Well, if, just, if that 20 weeks um, timeline is true, then... In September, I want to say. Yeah, if that 20 weeks timeline is true, then that means that she... And as, I've, and as, as, as other brothers have pointed out, you can see the 666 six, six there. Six on the left, six by the SC6, and then the six on the right. 
right. Once again, a lot of these, a lot of these so-called black, these uh, so-called Negroes on these TV shows, they have no idea what they're getting into. They have no idea what they get into when they when they become a part of the so-called entertainment industry. And she won the Australia Open pregnant. There's another person talking to she won the Australian Open pregnant nonsense. Yeah, she was about four or six weeks pregnant. Big deal. Whoop the damn do. It's like somebody saying, oh, well, you know, he won that boxing match and he had a head cold. Uh, you know, that's crazy. The whole other conversation. That's crazy. No, I think you're crazy. It's crazy. Because I'm, I'm bad with the timelines. I'll tell you all yeah. about that. But right. That, that well, is, you know, when you thing. talk to people who have kids, I always hate when they'll say, oh, he's a... Uh, 32 months. Like, can you just tell me? I don't oh, want to yeah. add or subtract. Yeah. Like, I don't want yeah. to do all that, right? Stop rehashing old jokes. Right, no just tell me what it is. Tell me. Okay. Congratulations, Congratulations to, to Serena. If you need a godmother, I got you. <laughs> Even though you have Venus, I know. But, yeah. Somebody was getting pregnant at a tennis match. So why would he? Why would she need a godmother? She, she's for you to be the godmother. You can't even be a real mother. All right. When are you going to get with that guy, with the, uh, the personal trainer guy? All right? I mean, come on now. Your clock is ticking. Yeah. That thing is almost about out. I mean, if, if that was an hourglass, it'd be about three grains of sand left. But anyway, I just wanted to touch on that. It's just it's just so hilarious to me how they cover certain topics. And a lot of times, you know, even though the even though the so-called black man is waking up to it, to this, to the hypocrisy, and it's a good thing. You have to be vigilant because they try to sneak in a lot of uh, of, of uh, subconscious or subliminal programming. Oh, look, Serena Williams, she won the championship while pregnant. You know, she can do all these things at the same time. Uh, you know, she's a, a, a superwoman, right? All these things are to, are to subconsciously program you into the worship of the so-called mother goddess. All right? Believe it or not. But anyway, peace.